All right, so today I'm gonna demonstrate how I made this. It is called an envelope tuck belly band thingy. Um, it's made with junk envelopes and paper and I put some backing paper on here. If you're going to glue this to a page, you don't really have to put the backing paper on it. And I just made a little belly band and a ticket tag to go in there. And it's pretty simple. What you'll need is a junk mail envelope. Um... some scrap paper, a tag. I pre-made the tags. Everybody knows how to make a tag, so I'm not going to bore you with the tag. And then if you want to put something striped on the back, oops, where did I go? you can um, put something on the back, uh, tea dyed paper or striped paper, whatever you want. You'll need a cutter, some glue, ink if you want to ink it, a rounder if you want to round the corners, and a ruler. And then I punched my butterfly out of this punch, um, EK Success I believe it is. So we will start. with the envelope. I took this this is the flap that you lick and I found the middle of the flap and, and then I wanted it the middle inch. So I found the middle everybody's envelope is going to be a different size so um, I can't really tell you the measurements but I just found the middle inch and I cut that and I found then I cut these two sides uh, the two ends of the envelope and I found the middle inch of the flap side of the envelope Does that makes sense so I sliced out both sides of the flap and left just this little piece and then I started started like that I cut out one side so I'm not keeping you all day and I'll show you how I cut out the middle inch of the back side of the envelope or the side that you lick I'm calling the back side this with the a label will be the front side So, I'm just going to cut this off at the middle inch. And then I'm going to cut this away. Let me fold this flap in so I don't accidentally cut it. Cut away that. So what you have is the back or front side of the envelope and then the, the this is all cut away <clears throat> and just the middle inch for your belly band is left there and you can lick it or you can stick it with a glue stick oops maybe you don't want to do that yet you got to line the inside of the envelope first and I cut this uh, beforehand so I didn't bore you with that either and I cut it the same size as the envelope and like I said everybody's is going to be a different size so whatever the middle of your envelope is and I'm just going to put some glue stick on there And then I'm going to use my art glitter glue for the sides. So 
so I know it's stuck good. And just pop your cardstock on there. Or design your paper. get stuck on there. Oops. I guess that dried. Now I missed a little here so I'm just going to trim this without trimming this uh, fold here. I did that on my last one. I accidentally cut through that and I had to re-glue it. Now if you like sewing, you can sew around this. Probably before you glue this tab down, I would glue uh, sew around it if you wanted it sewn. Now if you want the corners rounded, round the corners. And I had already cut a piece for the belly band. Now I just cut a one inch strip. It's just gonna fit. Guess I didn't cut it wide enough, but that's okay. We'll make do. And I didn't ink. I showed ink in the beginning, but if you want to ink, you can ink. I guess I won't ink. Although I should, because this edge here is too too long Hope everybody's doing okay. I have been bored off my tail. Sitting here. I try to go outside as much as I can. Then my allergies kick in. So. Sat on the porch and drank wine and ate cheese and grapes the other night. It was relaxing. Okay, that's that. Now I have cut a piece for the back, if I haven't misplaced it. Here it is. This is just a um, journal paper that I cut out of a journal that I don't use. I only use the paper. And then it wasn't long enough, so I pieced it together. So I'm just going to... And I practiced <laughs> some stamping on the back of it, so I figured I'd use it. Oops. Make sure I get those corners, the edges. Let me see, I want that side up. use that 
corner rounder again. Guess I'll run this over those corners. Oh, that one didn't stick. Okay, so I already made this tag to go in it. And I'm going to cut out the butterfly. You can use anything you want for the middle. If you don't have a butterfly punch. I'll just ink around that. Helps if you ink the right side. And that's not enough contrast. Let me see if I can find something else that I can punch. And I can't find something right off hand. And I'll just put that there. What the heck. Let's turn to the side a little bit so you can see that it's there. And then I had put one on my little card also. I'm going that way. And then just a little piece of something. Bring it through. Tie a knot and I know there's a loop here somewhere. There it is. Cut the loop. And you've got yourself a tag. So I hope you'll like it. If you have any questions, you can just contact me on my page. And if you like it, like and share my video. And subscribe. Thank you.